In this video, I'm going to share 8 tips on how to actually come up with level ideas and how to overcome the dreaded beast known as designer's block. My last video was met with some pretty understandable confusion. I opened it like, I have a process for coming up with tons of level ideas easily and effectively. Yet that's not really what I focused on. A better title for that video would have been how to structure your level. All that to say, this video should help those of you out there who struggle with that first step in coming up with a level idea, and how to get yourself unstuck when you feel like you have no good ideas left. I'm going to be breaking this list up into two parts, your starting points and how to get over designer's block. Let's start with our first starting point, observation. This one is fairly simple. Observe your surroundings. The world is full of inspiration. A couple days ago I was looking out the window and saw a leaf blowing in the wind. A totally normal thing for a leaf to do, but seeing it inspired me to create this level all about Mario staying afloat with his cape. Whether it be an actual moment of inspiration or a subconscious thought as you open up the editor, great ideas come from real-world experiences. Proven Design The great thing about Mario Maker is that you have four wait, five games to look back to for inspiration. However, you don't need to limit yourself to just Mario games. Steal ideas from any game. When I was playing through Cuphead, every time I launched Mario Maker, I would be making levels that featured boss fights that take up almost the entire screen. This is what fueled my creativity for months on end. Don't be afraid to steal ideas from other games, as long as you don't just copy it pixel by pixel. Experience. Sometimes, levels are born out of the kind of experience the creator wants you to have while playing it. Do you want the player to be on the edge of their seat? Do you want them to feel helpless or like a badass? Try to think of the kind of experience you'd like to have while playing a level, and ideas will surely follow. Narrative. Great levels tell stories. Some might not be as obvious as others, but sometimes entire levels were made solely to tell a story. What story are you trying to tell? Running through a carnival, a spy infiltrating the Goomba headquarters, stealing from ruins. The possibilities are endless. If the ideas haven't started coming yet, don't worry. The next four tips should help you get out of that rut of feeling like none of your ideas are good enough. Journal. Write your ideas down. You can do this in a notebook or on your phone. Jot down whenever you think of something, whether or not you think it's good enough, and eventually you'll have a well of ideas to pull from. Some ideas might jump out at you in a new light. Play. Play other people's levels or other people's games, but play them with the mindset of a designer. Critically examine what's in front of you. Ask why certain decisions were made, like why this platform was placed here and not there. If you play games as a designer, you'll start to spot things you might have missed before. Practice. This might come as a surprise to you, but the more time you spend doing something, the better you get at it. The more time you spend in the editor, the more information you'll know about how things interact with each other. These little bits of information can spawn entire level ideas by themselves. RNG. Or, as an absolute last resort, you can always just have a robot come up with ideas for you. This can work great if you're completely tapped, but can obviously lead to a dull and uninspired stage. But if you want to know how to take these ideas and turn them into fully fleshed out levels, I've got more Mario Maker level design tips to the left here. And if you're not already subscribed, I post a new video every week, so you're missing out. As always, thanks for watching.